Hey guys, welcome back to a new week of workouts and food diaries. <laughs> if you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and I do weekly vlogs showing you guys my weight loss journey. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. Give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And yeah, let's start this week, baby. So... I'm having a pretty lazy breakfast morning, mainly because my bananas are not ready, ready, and I wanted to do pancakes, but it required eggs, and then I was just like, oh, then I would have to mix, and I really just want one pancake, but it's kind of, I just didn't want to try to figure that out, so I was like, you know what, I'll save that for another time, so I'm having three eggs. And I'm going to have it with some goat cheese. I think my goat cheese is ready. We'll see. It feels still a little hard. So I keep the logs that I'm not eating that week in the freezer. So that I don't the waste in the thing. That's all. Also, my lips, they're not, can you see? They're not as swollen today. They just feel a little bit swollen and I've been having a case of like dry mouth um, especially like after I had that supplement but it's like been happening and I haven't had that supplement so I'm not gonna take the acid kicking minerals this week at all because I am monitoring like my mouth situation it's just been like a weird thing to experience because I'm just like, what is happening? My mouth has been dry and my lips get swollen, but it's usually in the morning. Okay, this is done. Anyways, I'm not really sure what's going on with like my mouth situation, but it's like I stopped using my mouthwash because I think my mouthwash was irritating it because I had that like reaction to the dish soap and cleaning it with my mask, which never again. Hopefully this is a le like hopefully this is a lesson to you guys. Like don't wash your mask using dish soap. Just use laundry detergent because, <laughs> you know. Um, just be safe, like be careful what you use it for because you could get a reaction. I don't know. It also could be like the changing weather because it is getting drier out here and I'm getting older. I'm not that old though, so I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna tuck into this breakfast and start work a little bit early today. It's not nine o'clock yet, it's like 8.30, but I'm trying this thing of intuitive eating. So we'll see how it goes. Cause I usually eat around like nine, nine thirty, because I was trying to like stick within that intermittent fasting thing, but I should just really eat when I'm hungry. I've just I'm learning new things. We'll we'll see how this goes, you know? We'll see how this goes. But yeah. I'll check you guys I'll check in with you guys later at like lunchtime. Which is probably gonna be well, you'll see. You'll see what it's gonna be. Just made some lunch have a chicken sausage with some carrots and green beans and goat cheese and some lemon tea. And that is my lunch today. All right, this is the last update for today. Having green beans with some chicken sausage and some goat cheese underneath there. Did have a lot of juice today. Uh, didn't film that, but yeah, I feel kind of bloated now. I'm just craving all the things because um, I'm about to start my period, so yeah.
次。So I have a lot of goat cheese <laughs> there, and I have my sausage with some green beans and carrots cooking. Oh my gosh. So it is currently, looking at the time, 6.41. I've been snacking a lot more. I forgot to show, but just eating, like they're healthy snacks. Like I've been having a lot of nuts as part of my snack. I'm like maintaining again, which fine, fine. But I need to be careful with the amount that I snack and the reason being I just had a lot of meetings today so I wasn't able to show when I was snacking or stuff like that because I was grabbing something quickly be between meetings because the meetings that I had were over lunch so I had to just like make food real quickly which is why you got like a really quick shot of my lunch today I'm pretty sure I showed dinner 
if I didn't, I did because I remember showing the eggs. Yeah, I just have to be careful with the snacks because it can really put me into maintaining mode. The workout that I did this morning with the standing abs and the dumbbell with both Mr. and Mrs. Muscle in the video, that dumbbell workout like was so good. I was sweating so much doing it because it was just arms and core. I am doing the modified version of push-ups because I'm trying to build up like my tolerance for that. And then once that is a lot better then I can go for unmodified push-ups, but I like to take things slow in terms of like my progressions and stuff like that. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up a little bit earlier, do abs and a full body workout, and then try to go for a long walk, which is why I'm going to get up a little bit earlier. So hopefully I will just make sure that I have all the layers on because it's always very crisp here in Colorado uh, during the fall time for mornings for us. But yeah, trying to get outside as much as possible. I feel like that's been really helping me with my mental health, as I've said. Like, I feel a lot better and I feel like I'm just in like a better headspace because I'm able to just get out of my space of being in my apartment that I'm in all day working because a lot of the day is just me working on my computer and that is very boring to see and I know I want to try to make these like vlogs a little bit more interesting but yeah I just need to get up earlier and like show some more interesting shots so it's like a little bit more aesthetically pleasing so I will work on that I, yeah, walking outside and getting going on hikes and stuff like that have been really good for my mental health. And I've just enjoyed it and I just feel overall happier and like more motivated. Cause I feel like last month was just really difficult. Like the end of August and then all of September was just like mentally tough looking back on it. Like I seemed as though I was fine, but like I wasn't productive and I wasn't doing as much as I could, which also makes sense to why I gained a lot of weight in September um, and August. So it it all makes sense. Um, and it's like unfortunate, but it's, I mean, this year, guys, we all know how this year has been going for all of us. It's not been going the greatest, but we're pushing through and I hope that I can encourage you to continue pushing forward taking every day one step at a time and just finding joy in even the smallest things. Like small victories can lead to big victories. So if, you know, your enjoyment is that you got out of bed today, that's something to celebrate. And if another one is that you got to get fresh air for like five minutes at least, that is also another big win like they might seem like small wins but at the same time like that's huge you know considering what we're all going through and even if I wasn't considering what we're all going through like life is hard you know it's tough and just anything that brings or sparks joy like celebrate them as though they're the biggest wins because it all matters so I hope that you guys know that you matter you are enough and you don't need to meet or be everyone's expectations you just need to be your own and that's all that matters so that's my word of encouragement hopefully that all made sense if not well here we are also that's another thing before i go I like follow this guy called Ugly Aesthetics. That's like his handle on Instagram. And he was like, I have the same meal for dinner every day for at least a year. And then I will switch it up to something new. I know I said that I wanted to like make my meals a little bit more interesting, but honestly, like for me, it doesn't bother me having the same meals every day. They're nutritious, they're good. And they like keep me full. And also like, I'm trying to be in a caloric deficit. That is the goal. I might switch up my meals, I might not, but I'm okay with the repetitiveness of my food. 
I'm not going to put the pressure on myself to have all these different types of foods. Because honestly, it's just a lot of work to like make a bunch of different food with all these recipes and stuff like that. And it's just a lot easier and so simple for me to just stick with like a basic food meal type of situation with good seasoning and not have to worry about the aesthetic reasons. So just wanted to throw that in there. I'm a repetitive meal eater and I'm okay with that. <laughs> good morning. It is currently 8.41 <laughs> and I woke up like around 8.20 so decided to take a shower and get dressed as you can see. I'll show you in the mirror. It'll be better if I show you what I look like in the mirror. So I got these leggings. You can kind of see the detail below it kind of like tapers towards the end. I know my mirror is dirty so but anyways, these are the leggings that I got. I got them from Costco um, for like 15 bucks. Kind of minty a little bit. And the pockets. And then I have this green like hoodie, these white drawstrings. And it does have a hoodie. It's just lost underneath my hair. You can kind of see it here. It's like a forest green. And I'm wearing this because it is nice, comfy, and cozy, so that is the outfit for today. Not that I've ever done an OOTD before. I <laughs> planned, as you guys saw last night, I planned to wake up early, but my body was like, no, we're gonna have a longer amount of sleep, and we don't care about your plans. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't, I didn't wake up like I thought I was gonna wake up around like 6.45, work out and then go for a walk and all that stuff so didn't happen but that's okay but I am I've been craving a coffee the past couple of days I've never craved coffee I just like want to have coffee so I'm gonna have coffee I'm gonna go grab that from Starbucks and come back and yeah but also I weighed myself again I'm still maintaining so nothing's really getting lost because I just over snack on some nuts as I said before so but I mean it's not bad to maintain it's not like the worst thing to maintain it is good to maintain sometimes but anyway I need to put on some socks some sunscreen and then go out and get my store books so I ordered my chai latte which honestly is really good and I thought I would share what I ordered the details so it is a grande chai tea latte with coconut milk adding cinnamon soy milk foam no water and one pump of pumpkin sauce because when you get a lot of pumps of pumpkin sauce first off that's a lot of sugar second off sometimes that pumpkin flavor is a little bit too strong but it's really good in the chai latte. So I don't know why I said chai tea. I like chai and tea. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's a chai latte. I should not say chai tea latte. It's just saying it twice. It's a chai latte. Ugh, I can't believe I did that. Anyway, having this to wake me up. I was going to add a shot of espresso, but then I was like, no, chai has a lot of caffeine in it naturally so I'm not gonna hurt my heart and do that but I'm gonna get started with work and I will catch you guys when I next eat whenever that is so this is so far like this is literally the first thing I'm having in the morning so and usually I get pretty full off of a latte I found the past couple months so anyways check in with you guys later the ticket was like hey man um i need to order for a second there i thought it was like a sweat stain and i was like i have not been sweating <laughs> anyways i feel as though i just need carbs and i haven't had a lot to eat today but all of a sudden it's like hitting me right now 
that I need a carb heavy food, card heavy, <laughs> a card heavy food um, for my meal. So I'm probably going to eat dinner like a lot earlier because I'm hungry and I need to eat and I'm craving carbs. So I'm going to give into that. Also, yeah, I mean, and carbs are not bad. Like they're good for you. I just need a substantial amount of carbs because I just, it's weird how your body, like you know what your body needs to like function properly. But yeah, right now my body is just like, girl, you need them carbs. So I'm going to try to see if there is anything nearby. I want to get like a healthier option because I'm like, ooh, Chick-fil-A does sound nice with like fries and a spicy deluxe burger, chicken sandwich. But I want to go for a healthier option. So I'm going to try to find places near me or a restaurant that can deliver maybe and see if I can get a carb dense meal. So apparently there is a lettuce shortage, which is interesting. So I just got a spicy chicken sandwich and a medium fry, <laughs> along with a small Arnold Palmer. And that is it. And I have some Chick-fil-A sauce. So that is the food. If I eat anything more today, I will show you guys. Sorry, the camera work was a little wonky, but anyway, I'm gonna watch the Great British Bake Off. <laughs>
just came back out from walking. Is that stuff on my face? I just sweat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just came back from walking. I didn't walk that long because it is so incredibly foggy outside. And it's beautiful. Like, I love foggy weather, fall weather, autumn weather. It's the best. But it was pretty cold. And I want to start work before nine so i thought i would head back a little bit earlier and cut my walk short but yeah just walked for like 20 25 minutes i think and now i'm going to take a quick shower and make some oatmeal and then i will show you guys my breakfast and we will get the day started but oh my gosh, like my legs are frozen. <laughs> it's just so cold. Like I had enough like layers on on top, but I just wore my leggings that I wore that you guys saw me earlier and working out. And I'm like feeling the coolness of my legs like starting to leave my body. But it just like the cold is so deep setted that I can just tell that it was really cold outside. And I had like a scarf on and a hat on because I sweat earlier. So I was like, I don't want to go outside with no covering because then that sweat will make me even more cold and then I will get sick and I do not want to get sick. So just have a stuffy nose because you know, allergies and stuff. But anyways, I'm going to stop chatting and I'm going to go take a shower and show you guys my breakfast. <laughs> I'm not gonna have a latte for breakfast today. Um, I'm gonna have actual oatmeal. I wanted to get Starbucks, but it's just all very sugary and I, I feel like I've been doing really good on the sweets. Like I take my blood sugar like once a month and it's like 94 area, which is really good. So I feel really good about my status for my sugar levels. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Chocolate? I am not one to cry, but I'm just <laughs> rewatching Collection 3 on Netflix, The Great British Baking Show. And I'm like, it's just so typical, like, of course I'm starting my period soon. Like the red plague is about to visit me. This is why I'm super emotional and just all over the place and craving all the things. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, now I'm just like, I want cake. <laughs> I want ice cream to like calm my tears, but I'm, I don't know if I, I'm not, I don't think I'll have that. Anyway, today has been, this week has been such a busy week with work. And yeah, I'm not like overwhelmed. I feel like I have a really good handle on things, especially with the fact that I'm going outside on walks and stuff like that. Although I definitely need to stretch because doing like press ups are really challenging on my chest. And because like I slouch or I curve in when I sleep, it causes pain here. So I definitely need to stretch and also like be cognizant of my posture so that like I'm not hurting myself. So I need to stretch and I'm going to do that later today. I will, I will do my best to do that later today and show you guys <laughs> me stretching, but it is like such I say this with the most positive like take on it but it is a very gloomy day outside it's so gray and the fall leaves are just so bright which is what I love about like gray days because the foliage is just like so much more vibrant and intense and I absolutely love it but it makes me also like want to have very like comfort food and warm hot foods. Like I want to have some tea. 
probably will have some tea because um, it's like the only hot thing that I can kind of think of right now. My nose is a little bit stuffy because, you know, allergies and stuff. But it'd be nice if I could have some soup. Like, I would love some soup right now. I am making some lunch right now. I'm going to add some egg. I was just in a meeting, which is why I forgot to show, but I had one pack of, okay. <laughs> I had one pack of these uh, organic roasted seaweed with sea salt that you can get at Trader Joe's. Went to Trader Joe's, got some groceries. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. One of them is my dinner because <laughs> I had an issue with getting a Brita filter from Target. I got the Target brand one, but it didn't fit my Brita. So I had to return it and then buy the actual Brita brand filter. So I did that ASAP, had like a dance session with Mel to like music that we listened to in high school. It was so good. Um, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I also have like a Target bag and stuff that I got from Home Goods because I needed to pick up some like cleaning supplies slash needed candles because it's the season, it's cozy season. Anyways, let me show you what I got. I was told, well not told, I saw someone have this bar and I thought I will try this and I bought two so that in case it tastes really good because it is the chocolate caramel pecan bar. Um, I will have it again on Saturday when I go to the hike, along with this like turkey jerky thing. So this is like for hike food, along with, I got another one of these dry, dehydrated carrots. They're only $2 and change, so I thought I could buy another one, because they're not super expensive. So got another one, so that's part of my snacks, my lens clap. <laughs> All right. Got some rolled oats because of oatmeal. Wanted to get more of the triple ginger brew because this is honestly pretty good, especially for Moscow. Got myself a little green juice, banana, eggs, press bar that I'm having tonight for dinner, along with coconut water. <coughs> got myself minestrone soup because I said I wanted soup. And it is vegan, as you can see, and gluten free. I'm going on a hike with some people. I got a tumor shot and a ginger shot. I mean, I will be wearing a mask around them, but still. Tis the season, you know? Or tis, tis the year. I got some sausage, just because it's quick and easy to make, and I have enough vegetables, so I, I just need protein. So I got chicken sausage, um, the garlic herb, and smoked andouille one got one thing of turkey burgers and that is it and then my target bag so i'm gonna have these two right now have to go on a zoom call right now because i'm in bible study and i'll check in with you guys tomorrow <music> Good morning. It is Friday, which I'm very, very excited for. I was planning on working out this morning, but I had a work emergency at 3.30 this morning. Well, technically 2.57. Didn't get finished until like 4. That's how tired I am. So, actually, no. I'm not... I don't feel tired, but I didn't really, I tried going back to sleep and I think I only got like a couple hours of sleep and then did more work and I just like stayed in bed after. So yeah, it was kind of a meh, but anyways, I... I'm trying to think of what I was going to say. 
oh yeah, I think that's all I had to say is that, or maybe I didn't say this. I don't really know where my brain is at this morning. Maybe this is like the sign that I am tired actually, because I'm just not really focused. It is currently 9.39 and I did not work out this morning because I had that work emergency. So because of that, I didn't go for a walk. I didn't do legs or whatever, but I am going on a hike tomorrow, which you guys will see tomorrow. And I am very excited, but it's like on an incline and we'll be hiking over rocks and stuff like that. So I think it's better that I don't work out today so that I'm not like really sore or dying tomorrow. I want to be as like loose and nimble. And although I didn't stretch or foam roll, my plan is that is what I'm going to show you as my physical activity for today is that I'm going to stretch and I'm going to foam roll. Also, my outfits the past couple days have just been like retired old man vibes and I'm fully here for it. Like this is my favorite cardigan. I got this off ASOS, ASOS, um, like 2015, 2016. And it's a very thick cardigan and it's just very comfy and cozy and I spent a lot of money on it and it's still really good quality and holds up and I'm wearing like a shirt with some joggers and socks and my house slippers <laughs> yesterday was like the same kind of deal like cardigan shirt shorts long comfy socks with my house slippers great it was just great also, the green juice from Trader Joe's, I forgot, has grapefruit in it. I'm, it's, like, very potent this morning, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. But I still have my coconut water from last night that I have not finished, so I'm going to finish that. I've already done some work. I feel done for the day, but I got to do work. I got to do work, you know? Gotta do this. These Quest protein bars are really good. But because they are so good, I I gotta be careful buying them. But the um chocolate caramel pecan one. This right here is such a good flavor. So I'm having that as a snack at 11.41. Lunch is about to be happening, but hey, this is a real what I eat, so. And when I eat, I'm getting so much better at these tongue pops. I'm like obsessed. <laughs> and I am almost finished with my coconut water. So I am having a little bit of the soup that I got from Trader Joe's. And I added a sausage link to it, cut it up in pieces, warmed it up with my soup. So it's the minestrone vegan soup with the chicken sausage link, the garlic herb one. Getting notifications on my phone. Okay, glad that he is not messaging me. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my lunch today. And then I'm going to have it out with water. And then in a few minutes, I'm going to get back to work. Seems like a very slow work day today. So also the leaves on the tree outside my place have all fallen. The tree is bare now. It's so bare. It's so sad. It was beautiful while it lasted, but now it's gone. Because it's going to snow. It's gonna snow this weekend, apparently. I don't know if it's gonna snow by me, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna tuck into the soup now. Wait for it to cool, because I gotta cut the cat's tongue. So I don't know like how much you guys can see me, 
but or hear me because I don't have the mic on. But I went on my hike. We went to North Table Mountain. I had a little bit of these plantain chips and my core bar. You guys saw earlier that I had um, oatmeal without like probiotic, the kef the kefir or kefir, I don't know how you say it. Um, the K-E-F-I-R stuff, I had that. I didn't have that actually, or peanut butter. Um, and I'm currently having a chai latte with coconut milk and one pump of pumpkin sauce. Getting my fall drink on. But that is all I've had today and I will check in later with what I have in terms of food. I need to go drop off some books because I have books due at the library today. So I'm just going to turn those books in and then head home because we did that entire loop of North Table Mountain near Golden. And yeah, that incline, girl, it was rough at the beginning. It was so rough, but it was a lot of fun. And I can feel how tired my legs are. Oh, and I also showed that I had like a ginger shot and a turmeric shot as well. So I'm just gonna finish my chai and head home. Also the red plague is well and thriving for this girl. So, started the period um, last night. So, feeling very bloated, but took a mite all, so haven't felt any pain so far, which is great. So that mite all is doing its job. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. So, I just got home, and I am having this chomps free-range turkey original turkey stick um, and mild and it's whole 30 approved certain certified gluten-free certified paleo inspected by the United States Department of Agriculture and it's very salty and it only has like apparently 290 milligrams of so sodium <sighs> it's just really salty so it's not my favorite i'm not a huge fan of like overly salty foods i just don't like them and i've had like about half i don't really want to finish it but also it's currently like 5 21 and everything that I've had today, I've shown you. Oh yeah, last night, I don't know if I told you guys, I had Chick-fil-A last night with Mel and we watched Great British Bake Off. If I'm repeating myself, I am so sorry. So I'm having the rest of my minestrone soup and I put goat cheese with an egg in there so it's a little bit creamier. And I'm having some ginger beer as part of my dinner. <laughs> Forgot to mention that I weigh 217, so eating Chick-fil-A twice gains that, you know, pound back. But yeah, weigh 217. Oh, that's how I'm going to end this week's video. <laughs> See you guys uh, next week for a another what I eat in a day slash how I'm working out. I'm like trying to juggle my lens, which is why I like am just kind of like bouncy <laughs> anyways also it snowed it snowed last night so it's currently sunday as i'm filming this but yeah it's apparently there's a winter storm so don't know how the day is gonna go i'm really craving like ramen and pho but we'll see where the day takes us although i had soup i should probably just go back to trader joe's and buy more soup the minestrone soup is really good. It slaps. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I'm not sure of what I see. Cupid, don't f with me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes. And I don't see no other guys. 
Are you telling me this is a sign? Yeah.